I hope all of you are doing well today and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. So Fallout 4 is now around 7 years old and like for most people the vanilla experience is getting pretty old, no pun intended, and the obvious fix to this is to stick hundreds of mods in a mod manager and go wild. But trying to get hundreds of mods to play nicely together can be a bit of a daunting task for someone new or just generally unfamiliar with modding. So I thought to myself, if I cut down my 300 plus mod collection to 5 mods, which ones would I recommend to make the game feel like a new experience for someone who wants a simpler setup than a lot of us are used to running? So without further ado, here are my 5 mods to make Fallout feel new again. Number 1. Uneducated Shooter Q&E Leaning and Gun Inertia So on the surface you may look at this mod and go, oh you can lean, big deal. But as a lot of FPS fans can tell you, the ability to shoot from cover without exposing your whole body is a big deal, and this mod does it so well that I have to add it to any load order I'm playing because I feel naked playing without it, and it adds a little more depth to combat, especially against raiders and firearm wielding factions. Along with that, the added gun inertia that comes with it also adds a nice weighty feel to gunplay and just makes it look and feel more natural, which is something I really like. Number 2. Zombie Walkers. This mod is another that has been a staple in all my load orders for several reasons. Before I get into how I use it, I'll try and give you the simple version of what this mod does, because despite the name, it actually does a lot and is highly configurable, which is something I love. So Zombie Walkers first and foremost makes all the feral ghouls in the game behave more like traditional lumbering zombies instead of the jumpy little speed demons they are in vanilla game. That is a change I love, but the mod does so much more. The zombies themselves can be configured in a lot of ways. Health, speed, damage, being able to grab attack, can all be changed to the player's desire. My other favorite feature is the replacer that is built in with the mod, which allows you to add more zombie spawns throughout the world, or straight up add a percent chance, 0 to 100, of just changing any NPC type in the game to instead spawn as a certain amount of zombies. An example is I myself changed the replacement chance of bugs in the game to 100%, so anytime there would be a bug, a rad roach, blood bug, and any of the like, they instead spawn in as several zombies. I hate the flying bugs in the game with a passion, so this setting alone is enough for it to end up on this list for me. Number 3, Combined Arms Modern Weapons Pack and the Combined Arms Expansion Pack. Another weak point of vanilla Fallout is the firearms. They're wonky and awkward, with only a few exceptions, and this is one of the few mods on the Nexus that gives you a large variety of weapons with included level listing, so with two simple downloads you have a decent amount of weapons to spice up the commonwealth. Though none of these weapons are my personal favorites, they are all well made and they give you the biggest bang for your buck as far as the most variety for the easiest setup. And the level listing is nice because the weapons will just begin spawning in loot on raiders, gunners, anyone that wields weapons has a chance to start having these weapons. I do not know what level they start spawning in at, but they are added to the game just across the leveling experience, which integrates them into the game very nicely. And I really like having this pack in my load order. Number 4, SKK Settlement Attack System. You ever get bored of building up the defenses of your settlements because the vanilla settlement attack system is busted and almost pointless? Well, me too. What this mod does is give you a configurable attack system that actually gives you a reason to build a defensible base. The group size, frequency, and difficulty can all be adjusted per your desire to add some more flair to your next playthrough and it's just a lot of fun actually having groups attack your base and give you a reason for putting turrets and spikes, defenses, and all that kind of stuff up. It's just a lot of fun. Number five, maim. Wounds, bleeding, pain meds, and headshots. So this one may not be for everyone, and I myself use the light version, but what this does is overhaul damage, meds, and injuries. There's a lot of options you can choose to turn on and off, but using all its systems, adds a lot of depth to the injury management and makes combat more intense instead of a uh, spam stim packs until you outheal all damage you receive style which gets a little old. This mod also has a deadly headshots option to make headshots on all humanoids almost always a one shot kill. This does include you. Wearing helmets gives some protection to and from the player 
but this option makes being accurate in combat feel so much more rewarding, combined with the uneducated shooter, the leaning mod. This makes for a little more tactical approach to combat, which for me adds a lot of depth and makes my playthroughs so much more enjoyable. And that about does it folks, these have been 5 mods I would recommend to make Fallout 4 feel fresh again. Are there any mods you would recommend? Which of these is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.